Okay, folks, so it's another day, and I'm back in the, the practice nets, uh, and I've been thinking about this, and the question I want to ask you is, do you have a plan to get better? Do you have goals that you want to achieve, and are you working those goals? Uh, it's one thing to say, man, I want to get better, but do you have a, an action plan for it? All right, guys, so it's Friday, it's my day off, and we've got ultimate in about an hour, a little bit less than an hour. And while I really want to be out playing on a course, just having fun, I need to put in some net time. So uh, uh, a couple quick things. I just installed the uh, Mojo riser on my bag. Let's see if I can do this. Installed the Mojo riser on my bag, and I like it so far. Now, granted, I've used it for a total of about half an hour. But so here's my, uh, here's my practice this set up all these are from remix so I've got I've got the new Spartans that I picked up because I feel like they're almost like a flippy Valkyrie then the mid-range the torpedo kind of like a Mustang uh, and then the troll is more like a t-bird a little more overstable where that's a little more flippy and then the behemoth so I've got 13 of each one because I bought each one one time and then I liked them. So I went and bought 12 for $99 each. So each one of these. So yes, that's $400. Well, actually a little bit more because of the other things. But I've got a whole stack of practice discs. Now I know that's not necessarily feasible for everybody to just go out and spend $400. Uh, but spend $100 if you can. Let's face it, how much we spend on, on discs. But to get 12 discs for $99 just if nothing else for practice so that you have the same disc to practice over and over again. I think it's worth the investment if you're trying to get better at your game. So anyway, uh, this was some Christmas money that uh, allowed me to get these and so now I'm just gonna uh, practice. But so I just have my towels hanging up over there. Uh, and so I'm just gonna be trying to hit the towels just uh, looped onto the end of the, uh, end of the net and that's gonna be my target and I can move it up and down however I want. But so I'm just gonna throw uh, and uh, that's the big exciting Friday for me, so bring it on. By the way, I'm using my bag with the riser on it because I'm gonna put each set of 13 discs in there and so I don't have to keep bending down. I can bend down less to get it. So anyway, so far, two thumbs up. I'm holding the other hand. Two thumbs up for uh, the Mojo riser, but we'll uh, have to put it through its paces at Inverness with all those hills and see how it does. But so far, I like it. I'm gonna start out with the uh, <laughs> torpedoes, mid-ranges, and uh, I've stretched just a little run to the bathroom and back but uh so i'm gonna throw these nice and easy and kind of get warmed up with these one of the things i'm focusing on is trying to drive through the shot instead of dropping into it that's the sound you want to hear Now, we're just going to throw the Spartans. What happens is you see trends. And I'm throwing pretty good, but my miss is pushing off to the left. And it's amazing how quickly after I release I know what I've done. Uh, and that's the other benefit of having the net is you're not spending the extra time watching it fly out, hopefully 300 feet or so. Uh, your, your time from your throw to reset is sooner. So you can go through more discs, but also your brain's doing more calculations faster. Hope that makes sense. So just think about, if you get good being able to hit a towel from 30 feet away, I need, I need to measure this. Uh, in here and you get consistently where you can hit that think how much easier it's going to be to hit gaps out on the course now the troll all right a lot two of them are t-bird threes that means i got two trolls hiding around somewhere oh well one thing's talking to disc ai at the uh, at the expo 
was I tend to bring it back closer and I need to be bringing it farther outside because I'm kind of rounding a little bit. So I'm trying to remember to do that. It was right at the last minute as the expo was closing. So it was one of those, just here's a little tidbit to think about. I need to work on it. But man, when I do it, I'm actually more accurate too. That's my miss. It is literally a foot, foot and a half to the left. And what that means is I'm bringing it closer inside and I'm bringing it out here instead of through. And now time for the behemoth. Well, I found one troll and one destroyer. I've got some discs obviously floating around in my car. My car is a mess. I mean, the amount of discs that are just rolling around in there is ridiculous. Uh, if you ever need discs, just come break into my car. Find some random ones. Nose down, Pete. Nose down. There we go. Makes me happy when you hit the center. And the last one. Good way to end it. So that's backhands. And uh, so I had 52 discs, four times 12, 52. Yeah, even though I got a couple mixed up, there were 13 in each stack. So 52 discs in what, 10 minutes really? Uh, that's a great warm up. That's a great practice. I'm gonna now go get them and uh, let's try to do the forehands. Uh, but even if I just did that, you know, a few times a week, once a week, be great. So uh, yeah, let's keep rolling. All right, if some of y'all paid attention, I uh, went and picked them up and I picked them up and categorized them back into their discs. Uh, and the reason why I do that is because I wanna stay consistent, just so that I'm not doing a lot of mental gymnastics while I'm throwing. I know, oh, I've got the Mustang. I'm sorry, the, uh, the torpedo. And just throw, throw, throw. And now it's time for the troll. Throw, throw, throw. So we're just doing feedback. I don't know, I'm just making this stuff up, but I feel like that's a good idea. Let me know in the comments. I need a lot of work on my forehands, but also my shoulders been fighting me a little bit. I figured out where the number's messing up. I only bought 12 of the uh, <laughs> the main three, and then I had some extra ones mixed in there. For some reason, I was thinking I'd bought the Behemoth and the Troll and the Torpedo, a single one, and then bought the 12. I just bought the 12 in one pack. So that explains why I had some random ones in there. Like in the Torpedo, I have the Mustang, which it basically is the same disc almost. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't figure out why I had 13 of each, but some of them were not the actual disc. It's because I have terrible memory. One of the things we noticed at Disc AI, I, I threw two whole forehands about uh, with Robbie and Jonathan. Uh, and I'm pulling in, doing a lot of, because of Ultimate, the way I'm kind of doing a, I can't remember, that's the problem, I should have written this all down. But I'm using more arm, as Robbie said, I'm coming in and I'm trying to blast through and I'm using my elbow as kind of the stop snap of it, where the elbow's taking all the shock to get that pop instead of using my wrist and getting more of a, pop with my wrist so I got to work on that because it's affecting my arm and so uh, anyway whenever I try to put power on I'm doing it wrong and so uh, I need to get with Robbie and let him help me with my forehand when I do it wrong I can feel it in the elbow and across through here I'm trying to It's hard trying to make adjustments, especially this might not even be a good, I may just need to throw regular because one of the things is I, I, I'm not real clear what I should be doing. And so I can actually be baking in some bad habits doing that. So I think I'm just gonna throw regular. I'm not gonna throw a lot, but I need to wait till somebody like Robbie can sit here and watch me and help me know what I need to change instead of just kind of guessing at what I need to change. Because let's face it, we don't wanna bake in bad habits. We want to eliminate bad habits and bake in the good habits. And so quality 
of a quantity. So yeah, I could throw a bunch of forehands here, uh, but if I'm doing the wrong thing, that doesn't help. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait. I hit the towel. I think that's a good time to throw in the towel. Anyway, uh, I don't know if that inspired you or what, but uh, that's all I got for this Friday. You know, some, some weeks are better than others for kind of how things are going. Uh, it's been a pretty good week, but uh, it's been a busy week, uh, and uh, my body feels it. And so this was good to get out. I'm going to probably throw a few more, but I'm not filming. You don't need to watch it, but uh, maybe it'll inspire you just to get out and throw. You don't have to have all the discs that I have, but get out there and work on your shots. Uh, get out there and, and train your body to know what the good and the bad shots are. And uh, I hope to see you out on the course.